Good morning, friends. As we center ourselves on Jesus, uh, here's something Paul wrote in the book of Philippians. He says, Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. <laughs> in you uh, to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. Paul's describing this collaborative relationship we have with God. And sometimes we think of that relationship as one where he does all the work and we do all the receiving, or sometimes it's that we get out there and we do the work and um, and really, I think it's both. Here's something that Eugene Peterson said. He said, prayer and spirituality feature participation, right? The complex participation of God and the human, his will and our wills. We do not abandon ourselves to the stream of grace and drown in the ocean of love, losing identity. We do not pull the strings that activate God's operation in our lives, subjecting God to our assertive identity. I love this. He says, we neither manipulate God, that's active voice, nor are manipulated by God, passive voice. He's using this illustration of active voice is the one who's doing, doing the acting, right? And passive voice is the one who's being acted on. He says, we neither manipulate God nor are manipulated by God. We are involved in the action and participate in its results, but do not control or define it. He says prayer takes place in the middle voice. Prayer, faith, our relationship takes place in the place that is both, both about communion and collaboration. What a gift that God invites us into his life and his work and what he's doing now and forever. Let's end on a prayer. Here's an old prayer from the 16th century. Father, the scripture says that there is a time for silence and a time for speech. Savior, teach us the silence of humility, the silence of wisdom, the silence of love, the silence of perfection, the silence that speaks without words, the silence of faith. Lord, teach us to silence our own hearts that we may listen to the gentle movement of the Holy Spirit within us and sense the depths of which are of God. Amen. Grace and peace, my friends.